just like. <laughs> uh, I'm not putting your majesty, bro. <laughs> uh, Falco. Very interesting. So, I know Wyvin's been saying that the, the thing he's struggling with most recently is, like, when people are avoiding... So, two things. Like, when they start smothering his Gordo pressure... And they have like really good ground movement. The only thing he has left is like his air stall pressure. And then when they're standing at the side of him, he said he like struggles to get his kills out. So I don't know if Fox has, sorry, if Falco has the ground speed to get that done, but I could totally see that being an issue right there. So like you know like this kind of awkward range where like Wyvern likes to be above you and like drop yeah, with those nares. Like, yeah, he expects you to be shielding there a lot, and I think that's what a lot of his like kill game plan is, uh -huh. like right there. But if you just stand to the side of Wyvern, he said he has a really hard time getting through that. Because he could be safe by doing the back air and nair, but he can't kill you if you just stand there. Yeah. So you can get like free run up pressure on him, even if you like I do can't think punish that's him. The neutral remix starts to come in, right? Because it hits on the sides. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. I have seen him like drop down with neutral B once either shield's conditioned or like they sit to the sides. Mm, okay. I, I want to see how that. But is he gonna? Be, yeah, I guess he gets ledge trap after also, that, right? Yeah. This is a really bad matchup for DDD. I could Battle's totally reflector say that. Reflector goes crazy, and he just gets forever combos on DDD. So. True, yeah, you probably you probably just sandbag him the whole for, way. For all the characters for Driftway to go, this is a smart choice. <laughs> it's actually so scary that he could counter pick you at any given moment. Yeah. Oh, great anti air. I feel like he was going for a lot of uppers before, but I really like that nair from oh, him. Drag down up there. Okay, that could be huge. Laser. Oh, great spacing from Wyvin. Kinda of baited that. Okay. Oh, and he gets the frame trap on the upper the nair upper into up tilt. Dude, Wyvin is so good. He actually makes this character look like it can do shit. Yeah, do you need frame traps? You don't see that anywhere right? else. Like, he doesn't have those, right? That's fake, right? Yeah, that is fake. <laughs> Not for Wyvin. Not for Wyvin. It's like, it's gotta be so specific, because it's, like, it's like pretty much anywhere was, like, I don't know, if you get Nair, you're just gonna, like, back your affair, right? But you could go for the frame trap and just kill. It's wonder, kinda sick. I wonder, oh, I guess that's how. I was gonna say, I wonder how Dirflit takes the stock. Falco has, like, three big ways, where it's, like, up tilt confirm, down tilt, or bear. Mm, true. And does he does fair link in a grab? Fair can drag down if you do it right, but I don't know if Durf was doing all that. Yeah, and also like I, I feel like it's gotta be hard to like already be in the air versus DDD to drag him down. Mm -hmm. Like he's just gonna fair you out there. Oh, air, right? Cypher in chat. Falco. Faclo, Faclo, Faclo. Oh, he, wait, he, he did pull Faclo. What the heck? <laughs> Faclo, Faclo. Oh, I gotta try my costume on for, for armor. Something scary about this matchup, though, is for Falco, you can get two-framed. And if you get two-framed, you die. <laughs> like, you could just repeatedly two-frame you over and over again? Uh, not repeatedly, but, like, if he calls you out and gets a two-frame with a dash tech, yeah. I don't know how Falco's up -y holding down interaction works there, but mm -hmm. I would imagine a two-frame is really bad in this matchup. Yeah, it, it sends at, like, a fucked-up angle, too, right? You can't side-B afterward. You're just dying, like, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that being said, Durfle gets a dominate game one. Yeah, I mean, the back air was really hard for him to deal with. There's, like, a thing where, like, Falco back air, like, auto-cancels after a while, right? I think it auto-cancels Rising. That's fucked up, because that, that's hop, what he was doing, rising yeah. Rising short hop bear is auto-canceling. Because I saw him go for it a couple times. For DDD to kill. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, Falco, when he wants to kill, he has to do a lot of committal options. He's a lot more committal than other characters, and he can struggle mm. around killing and shield like opponents that spam shield. So Falco has to do a bit more commitment, and that can make DDD live to like a, or live a lot longer than most characters. Mm. Yeah, and then if he's living that long, he's just gonna get chip damage on you, right? Which is not what you want. Mm -hmm. But something that's good is if you get your early confirms, you don't have to deal with the DD stock. If you don't, it gets a little bit tricky. It's like you have like a small window of like success. Yeah. That's tough. I kind of get that, where it's like, your your ladder is only going to work at like that percent. Yeah, and if you don't get I it, like you just you lost it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I guess like, Falco doesn't really have like a secondary fallback. Like at the very least, I can start edge guarding afterward. I don't know what Falco does after that. Like he just has to keep like, he has to keep like slowly ramping up until he gets you to kill percent, right? Oh, yeah, you were those the the down the down, uh, the down tilt. Ledge. I don't know if that was a two frame. I think that just straight up hit. Uh, oh, something Falco has to be very weary. And just like that, Wyvin, um, making this matchup not look so bad. He's 
up a stock any year like he's in that danger percent now right but falco's gonna do all these commitments and he's just gonna get extra mileage with that rage knows he has to go for something big like an up smash to kind of kill here yeah like even his up till confirmed didn't work over there at 150. i think the things that kill now are bear dare and up smash oh i guess dare that too yep. <laughs> all right I, it's so hard for me to think about what's happening in this matchup because it's like I don't know, it kind of just feels like both of them are just still playing their characters. We kind of see Wyvern, at least he seems like he's figured it out, or he's much more comfortable this game. Yeah, I'm liking these like mix-ups between like rising fit, like Nair in the air, because uh, Durflo's been going up and Nairing as well to like, anti air him out, and Durflo's been, as in, Wyvern's been covering himself up there with those like rising Nairs even in the air as he's like about to land on him. So. I mean, it's a good way to avoid those situations, but oh my god. Another two frame. Two framing is potent for both characters in this match. Right? Yeah, and like, dude, how did, he, how did he make that back? He was like up almost like a full stock initially. Yeah, and, and now it's suddenly completely turned the other way. I guess like that's the other thing, right? I don't think DDD has the same comeback factor on this matchup that Falco does. Yeah, Falco can always make the comeback. And it seems like Dirf has been doing a good job. Oh, I, I thought he was just going to do it. I know yeah. if uh, Wyvin doesn't want to get two framed as much, he can time the hold down on his up B, and that will armor through the down tilt and grab okay. range. And he knows about this. It is just hard to do. Yeah, and that's got to be like mad inconsistent, right? Just because like the camera in this game is also so hard to tell how low you are. It's hard, and also if um, Durfla doesn't go for the down tilt, Wyvin will overshoot ledge because he has to hold down for it to work. Oh, so it's like you either hit or you die. Yeah, because the you need the hit stuff. Oh, like that? That was it, right? Uh, I don't know if he held down. Did he armor? I don't know. I, th I mean, it looked like he like, it was like there for you, a second and then grabbed it. You'll be able to tell because it'll yeah. armor through the down tilt. Okay. Doing it. <sighs> well, I've been also kind of going for some committal moves right now because I think he knows he has to make this comeback. Yeah. Up tilt's so hard for Falco to punish, but he doesn't Dude. jab and there's gonna kill. Dude, that rising back here is broken. Actually. Like, he tried to like down tilt out of there because he like thought it would uh, was be unsafe. It's really good against bigger characters like DDD because you don't even need the jump read. You might just hit raw. Just like the top of their head? Yeah. <laughs> so it makes it a lot more spam. 160 at ledge. If Wyvin makes this comeback. Oh! oh! The fake kill screen, but it combos! Oh! oh, I thought he was gonna take it. And this is looking really bad for Wyvin. What does Wyvin need to change right now? I feel like Wyvin's still getting caught in a lot of these scrambles, and all of his options, I feel like, aren't as potent as, like, Falco counterplay. Like, if if Wyvin swats him out of the air for, like, getting a bad read, if, like, Durfly just decides to play a little bit randomly in those situations, like, he's just gonna kill Wyvin instead of Wyvin, like, getting anything out of it. I think to make a comeback in this matchup, Wyvin has to use more F tilt in the neutral and then get some insane, like, plays off stage. Mm, yeah, he's, like, maybe more walling. Everything. Yeah. If not that, then he needs to find a way to just live forever and ever and ever. Okay. Well, how do you really avoid all those kill moves? Because, like, I feel like he has grounded kill moves, aerial kill moves, like... I think pressing up tilt on like maybe the rising aerials is a good play or maybe parrying it's hard to parry against falco because of fair but i still think it's a valid option okay i mean that kind of makes sense i mean even if he does a safe aerial on your shield like you could probably unshield in time right i think like it's probably still your turn afterward right i think up tilt will be very good in this matchup up tilt wyvin and derfla <laughs> this yep. legitimately is a matchup where up tilt's just really good <laughs> Well, I've been opting to stay in the air a lot. I feel like, I mean, he's not really using Gordo because of the um, the threat of down B, but I feel like, I don't know. He has to, I feel like he has to keep Durfla honest, right? What is it? DDD likes to play a vertical neutral, and Falco is one of the characters with the best vertical games, vertical mobility in the game. He can just yeah. jump so high so fast. He also <sighs> has the up tilt and anti air. I think he held down. Trying yeah. to try not to go through, but he just failed it. Okay, good frame job over there, and a big forward smash from Wyvin. I, he needs to make those happen. I mean, like, you have the kill power on Falco here, and I feel like he needs to abuse it. He's going for a lot of these really safe backers, which I like, but sooner or later, I think Durfla's going to catch on, and he's going to get him. Oh, great. Wow, even out of parry, you couldn't punish that. Great jump reads here from Durfla. Durfla just knows how to get it started each stock. He knows, like, he, he's not doing the optimal combos, but he's still finding consistent damage, and, like, it leads to Wyvin being off stage, which is, like, stressful. Yeah, and then he just stuffs him out with those lasers oh, so SD well. Oh, an SD coming out from Wyvin. Two in a row here is going to be super rough for him. He's going to have to find a jump backer here somewhere. Oh, the drag down. And just like that, Wyvin is at 56 off stage. Barely makes it out of there. <laughs> Missing the grab. Oh. 
why oh, would death. Oh, the down tilt raw up air bear. Is that true? I it is true, but I don't think that specific one is true. Okay. 